Hello and welcome to this very short off-the-cuff video announcing the beta of version 4.4 of Grid Cartographer. So there's been quite a few changes to the user interface in this new beta version. The first one I'll talk about is that the toolbar along the top is no longer there and that's been replaced by a vertical toolbar and here we've got some of the options that are, used to be available in the horizontal one but a bit more compact it takes up less space and gives us a bit more viewport area. So we've got the move tool, the select tool, one tool, pick a tool, and there are your selection options, and then you've got the new grid draw tool. And that is basically the existing drawing functionality from the current version, um, repurposed into one tool, and that gives you your edge, marker, and terrain options. Um, we'll talk about that a bit more later. Um, the, there's an eraser and you've also got the text tool and the annotation tool and the hand tool. The side panel has been changed. It's not quite as obvious, but the content within it is now dynamic based on the tool that you've selected. So at the moment you can see that it's got the, um, the edge selection stuff here, the different edge styles. Uh, but if I click into the text tool, you'll see that it now changes completely into just being a text focused interface and in future I will be expanding on these. A lot of the tools actually don't have anything on the side panel because there aren't any options for them. I'll be expanding those where I can and adding new functionality but it's now got the space to do that. The old interface was getting a little bit too crammed with um, functionality and I think that this approach will allow it to breathe a bit more. So if I switch back to the grid draw tool um, you can see that we now have a new um, radio button across the top and what this does is very similar to the existing edge marker and terrain tabs uh, we now have this button along the top which um, if I select the different options I'll show you that they're slightly different um, you can see here on the terrain we've got this additional tool options it's no longer a tool options tab bar uh, the colors always are visible um, and if you've got additional options for example here this is grayed out but it says auto walls if that's um, so I'll select a tie, you go make it visible. Um, if that option is um, available, then you'll be given that. And as the beta improves, I will be adding those options in to um, the marker and the edge. But at the moment, um, it's currently work in progress. Um, just to finish off talking about the toolbar, down the bottom left hand side, we have the um, viewport layout options. This is um, going to let us select between the different viewport options. Um, I'll go back to that for example, uh, but if you want a full view, um, we've got this option. It's the same as the drop down here and you've got select layout. It's the same option, but it was available on the previous toolbar and it is useful to have it for quickly accessing different toolbar, um, sorry, different viewport configurations. Uh, below that we have the side panel toggle you can click that and quickly get rid of all this space taken up on the right hand side if you really want just to focus on the mapping and you don't need the tools and you can click that again to bring it back on uh, if you right click on it you get a little pop-up bar and that's actually in the wrong place and <laughs> that's a bug um, this will give us the option to um, turn off the region bars and the status bar and then switch everything back on and Below that, we have the full screen option, which I won't click, but it basically on Windows will make the grid cartographer interface into a borderless full screen window. So in addition to the changes to the toolbar on the side panel, another thing that's been changed in the interface is that we now have rulers around the edges of the viewports. This is a feature I've been wanting to add for quite a while, and essentially it replaces what the old grid, uh, grid values used to do. Um, that's still available, but they're off by default. Instead, we have the rulers, which are now on by default. If you don't like the rulers, you can actually go to the show menu and rulers and toggle that on uh, and off. Uh, and essentially what it does is show you where on the map you are. So um, you can pan along and you can see that this is 120 to 140. And if you zoom out, it scales out and it you know works just like you'd expect in other graphic applications and it just allows you to measure things and see where you're at. So the final thing I wanted to show you was the um, addition of some new terrain tiles. What I've gone for is a pencil effect look and I've added, uh, what's that, 
<laughs> 27 new tiles and um, they are a selection of pencil themed graphics and what best ways to describe them is just to draw with it if I do show and then grid to hide it it's more obvious what I'm doing um, these uh, train tiles are meant to look like you've hand drawn some of the effects these ones are a bit more regular there's different options um, I can scroll draw over the top here and you'll see that there's different options for the um, terrain let's quickly draw some of these on and different grid styles basically appear some of the later ones though they um, add more of a more of a rough look so we've got this one which is a bit more hand drawn a little bit more like a um, you know an actual tile that's been worn away if I draw over the top of them you can add a bit of variety uh, we've also got a selection at the bottom here which is um, ones with detail on them some dust and stones and things now you probably don't want to be painting with those but you can just dot them in here there and everywhere and you'll get a bit more of a natural look as you can see I'm just very quickly adding these on and also we have a selection of tiles at the bottom here which is um, with sort of cracks and defects in them so this is like if you've got somewhere that's not quite as well looked after um, again I shouldn't really be using these as a as a paint I should actually just be adding one one or two of them here or there just to add that extra detail uh, you get the idea though and quite pleased with how they look you can really sort of add a bit of extra ambience there and um, so they work quite well in in all the themes but what I quite like is if you go to show theme and black on white and then you look at it in that theme I think that actually for me is one of my you know best looks I think it looks uh, looks the best in the, in this theme but really it's entirely up to you Okay, so I'm going to put instructions for how to access the beta in the description below and you can check the Discord server for updates on that. Uh, thank you for watching this first video and um, please don't forget to like if you like this video and if you'd like to see more and um, feel free to leave comments in uh, comments below. Okay, goodbye.